Very exciting. Not just another predator, but a family of other predators, or a pride, as the collective noun is for lions. So there we have our Nkoma pride, who have not moved one inch since yesterday's sunset safari. But very, very exciting to see them once again. I think it's been... Sorry, I'm just still being assaulted by the smell of the urine that one of the lionesses just deposited right next to us. Um, but this is actually the first time I've seen the Nkuhuma Pride in probably about a month. So it's really, really exciting to see them once again. Even if it is just still three lionesses, we're still missing uh, two of them. And the, I think, I'm going to assume six cubs. I can't actually see them. Unfortunately, it is a very tricky spot, but we do have Taylor to thank for thinking about coming to check here to see whether or not they were still in exactly the same place and it just goes to show um, we were talking about which animal is the first to rise and we spoke about nocturnal comings and goings of cats sometimes lions don't move anywhere mm -hmm. can sleep for up to 20 hours a day uh, this was obviously just one of those days They're still a little bit full-bellied from their water buck kill and they've decided they're not going anywhere and she must have an injury there on the side of her flank, or on her flank. You can see the flies have gathered around it. Shame, girl. It looks a little bit uncomfortable. Okay. We were in an ideal position. We are no longer in an ideal position. So just be with, bear with me one second. Oh, we can try and get ourselves a different view of these lionesses. Ooh, not so easy. There we go. This is a very, very tricky patch that they are in. They're right on, sort of next to a Tamburti thicket. So we had to maneuver our way around. Tamburti is a type of tree that is very important in the ecosystem out here. And it's one of the trees that we will absolutely not drive over. So there we go, there's our Tamburti thicket over there. So it took us a little bit of maneuvering to get in. And unfortunately, we can't really do much to improve our view without damaging the environment around these lionesses. Absolutely no sign of doing anything. They have spent the entire evening sleeping in the same spot and they're not showing any signs of doing anything different now for this morning. It is nice and cool, but the clouds have started to break up and I think this is probably what they plan on doing for the rest of the day, which means that we'll spend a little bit of time with them and then I'll go and fulfill my promise to go and check on Gwen's den as soon as we have checked up on all of them. Sleepy, sleepy lionesses. Ears twitching to get away from the biting flies, which have exploded since the rain. There are so many of them about. You can see their ears looking a little bit scabby. I want to see the cubs. I want to see how much they've grown. But they're all playing really hard to get. They have no desire to come out at all. Don't forget on your live safari, send through your questions, hashtag safari live on Twitter, or email through to questions at wildearth.tv. And for our new viewers, this is the Inkuhuma Pride, the pride that we, up until recently, used to see most regularly. And then they spent about a month away from us in the northern part of the Sabi Sand. So it's lovely to have them back once again. And the pride consists of five lionesses and six cubs. But two of the lionesses have moved away from the rest of the pride, Amber Eyes and the youngest female, the youngest adult female, shouldn't be. Sorry, let me shift around for a second. And sorry, Stephanie, hold on, hold up, hold off on that thought. For